Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to focus this video on sharing some of like the resources and like books and different things that I use with the kids to teach them about God, to teach them about Jesus. Um, so sharing some Christian resources with you guys. I know that here on my channel I share a lot of like toys and activities and things we do with the kids which I will continue to share. So if you guys happen to be new, definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of that stuff. Um, but I like to share a lot of the stuff that we do with the kids. And if you are also new, I guess I should just first of all introduce myself. My name is Kayla and I have a four-year-old girl named Riley and a two-year-old son named Jackson. So I, you know, I'm home with them. I'm teaching them. I'm, you know, keeping them entertained, but we are Catholic Christians. So over the last few years, I found like some books and some Bibles and activity books and sticker books and like all these things that I have used with the kids and that I've bought and hope to use soon with the kids. So I thought I would share them with you guys. I'm also going to talk to you guys a little bit like quickly about Riley's um, homeschooling curriculum that we have been using and just some of the stuff that that encompasses. I'll have everything linked down below in the description box too in case you also are looking to like start a little collection of Christian resources for your toddlers, for your preschoolers. So I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through these in no particular order. Um, and then just kind of like open them up a little bit so you can see because I know that sometimes like when you're shopping on Amazon and stuff It's like hard to know what the stuff actually looks like. So I'm gonna start off with this one This is one of our favorite um, Bibles for the kids. This one's called tiny truths We do also have um, the Jesus storybook Bible I'm sure you've maybe heard of that one before that one's also a really cute like picture book for kids like of the Bible stories But we like how this one is illustrated I just think it's like very different and very fun and then just like walks through the different um, stories in the Bible. So this is one of those things that um, when Joe is putting Riley down to bed, again, my four-year-old, when he's putting her down to bed, he'll read one of these stories. And we've been doing this probably since Riley was like two and a half, three years old. So she always gets some kind of Bible story included in like her nighttime put down. So there's that one. The other one that I really like is this one. This one's called God Gave Us a Bible. This is like a um, brand of books. Like they have plenty other God Gave Us books. I'm sure you've all also like seen these before but they have like God gave us Easter God gave us Christmas but they have an actual God gave us the Bible and I think if I'm not mistaken on Amazon like the cover looks a little different because I think it's like an updated version but this one has like really cute stories from the Bible and then what's cute also is that um, like all of the characters like you've got obviously like the Bible stories but then you have like little call outs from the bears like the the bears that are like are on the front cover so you see like the little bear will ask questions about the story like here it says like why did god say that mama and then the mom is responding like he wanted everyone to know how proud he was of his son so there's like little further explanatory things here also that's like good to have conversations with your little ones about the stories that you're reading so i've always been a fan like anytime that you can grab one of the god gave us books we love those I feel like it goes without saying but i might as well just say it here like obviously you don't need to have a million different resources and books and stuff to teach your kids about christ to teach them about your faith you know i didn't grow up with a bunch of different things like i think i had like one prayer book um, that was really cute. It was like a precious moments prayer book. But I do think that it's important if you are going to be like living a life of faith, if you are going to be, you know, trying to raise your kids in that way, um, I think it's important just to be having the conversations and to introduce it to them in a fun way. And obviously one of the fun ways that you can do that is through these picture books, the picture Bibles and these activity books and things like that so that they grow up being familiar with these stories and these accounts of people's lives. Like, I'm really excited that, like, like Riley's gonna know more about, you know, the Bible than I ever did at her age. So that's one of the reasons why we really enjoy sharing these things, but you don't need to have all of them. Like, you can have a few. So let's just keep going. Um, One thing that I've been introduced to, like, over the last maybe, like, two or three years is, like, the concept of a devotional. Up until a few years ago, I had no idea what a devotional was. Like, I obviously knew what the Bible was, but a devotional, I had never heard of that term. And now you guys know, if you follow me here, um, I'm, like, hooked on devotionals. I have tons of adult devotionals that I read every single day, but they do have like fun kids ones. So I'm going to share a couple with you guys that I really like. This one is called devotionals for preschoolers. This one is really cute because you've got like the day up on the corner. So you don't even have to like worry about where you are. You don't have to, you know, put a bookmark. You just flip it to the page 
um, of the day that you're reading it. It's just like a short little um, devotional that you can read through and then there's like some Bible verses on the bottom and then next to the Bible verse there's also a prayer. So like today is February, today's like it's hard for me to remember the day but today is February 15th. So I'll flip over to this page and this one is all about helping. So like different concepts that you know preschoolers can understand. So this one is saying, you know, like, look at all of the helpers. What are some ways that you like to help others when you love Jesus? God helps you to be good at doing things for others. He helps some people to be good at giving. Some people are good at being helpers. Some people are good at teaching or being leaders. Some are good at making people happy. God wants you to use the abilities he gives you to help others. And then the Bible verse is um, from Romans chapter 12, verse 6. God has given each of us the ability to do certain things well. And then the prayer is, help me to do what I can for others. My parents, my sisters. And my brothers so a concept all about helping so you can like read this like first thing in the morning or like maybe over breakfast this one I usually keep on the kitchen um, the little table that we have in the kitchen or within arm's reach of the kitchen and that's something that I like to do I'm not super consistent there are some days that go by that I don't but when I have it there readily accessible that's something that I like to do like when the kids are having breakfast or lunch we can read about this topic right and if today's all about helping then throughout the day I can kind of go reminding Riley like oh what did we read earlier um and talk about you know how God wants us to help others and using our abilities all of that kind of thing so this one is a great one I highly recommend this one and then the other one that I really like and some people love this one other people think that it's a little bit um, like some of the concepts may be a little bit hard to grasp but this one is called indescribable 100 devotions about God and science I like this one because my kid is obsessed with science like anything that she can learn from blippy and like about sink or float and consistency and density like she's obsessed with that kind of stuff like way more interested in science than I am so um, I thought that this one she would really like and turns out that that has obviously been the case so what's nice is that it has like different devotionals it's not by day but it's you know different topics like for example this one is all about like how deep is too deep and then there's a cute little picture and then it's got a verse from the Bible, so an actual Bible verse that you can read. And then it's talking all about like the oceans and how they're beautiful and amazing and mysterious places. God, of course, knows all about them. Um, and then it gives you like facts about the deep ocean. So you're relating, you know, stuff from the Bible and how God made these wonderful things. Um, but then talking also about like science stuff and like fact stuff and how like they both coexist. Like I think sometimes people like to make it seem like you have to pick God or science. So this devotional, at least in my experience, has been like showing my kids how like, you know, God is in control of all of that. And you can still appreciate science, but you know like the bigger picture is that like God made all this stuff, you know? So you read the whole little, um, like little blurb here and then at the end there's a prayer so this one says lord you know everything about me even every thought that i think help me to capture any bad thoughts that wander and fill my mind with thoughts of you instead so nice little prayer to wrap it up um and i just think it's really cute this is another one that riley will read with her dad when like they're going to bed and she just likes all this kind of stuff so if you have a kid who likes science, who likes facts. Um, again, not every concept Riley's gonna grasp from this, but this is something that she'll have with her for a long time. And as she goes getting older, she'll be able to read through these and like really understand some of the stuff. I mean, honestly, I haven't read through this entire thing. And I bet that if I read some of it, I'd be like, what the heck is this? But anything from like stars to like parts of the body, um, like, okay, this page is like falling out. These are all things that she really enjoys reading about. So this is another one that we have liked. So the next book that I wanted to share with you guys is this one this book is great if you have a little one who's not quite yet at the age of like devotionals and all of that like a little one like my two-year-old like this book I bought for Jackson um it's the same like makers of like the first 100 words books which we have plenty of we have a million different versions of that but this one is my first 100 Bible words, which is so cute. So in the process of teaching them different words and showing them and enhancing their vocabulary, all of that, you can do it in a way where they're learning also about things that they're gonna see in the Bible or that they've already seen in the Bible. So you can obviously use it to just, you know, show them pictures of things and expand their vocabulary and show them animals like the whale. But then 
like if I'm doing this with Jackson and Riley's around I can be like oh remember the story of Jonah and the whale and you know have conversations about that so this is something that's super cute um, and something that is kind of like the, an introduction to like some of these different concepts that they're gonna see in the Bible so this one also is super cheap it's like five bucks or six bucks so if you have a little little one this one is great so then recently I got a couple different activity books for Riley um, because she loves to work in her workbooks we do homeschooling stuff I have a lot of like pages that I'll print out to keep her busy so since I'm doing all of that with her anyway I figured I'd get some of these like little activity workbooks you can find these in a bunch of places but I got ours on Amazon and you know this is just something that's like about printing she hasn't used this one yet but this one is working on the letters but then it also has um, you know things about the Bible. So this one is about Moses. I believe yeah baby basket and okay Maybe Moses like they don't have them in order. There's like Daniel and then there's Genesis over here, but regardless like they're focusing on things from the Bible So they're gonna be tracing the letters But then here like this little thing where they have to trace in color it says trace in color the fish that Jesus blessed to feed 5,000 people So they're working on skills but in a way that relates it to the Bible, which I think is great. This one is super thin though. So if you have like expectations of it being like a super thick workbook, um, that's not it. This one just works through all the letters. So there's like one um, letter per page. This one is a little bit bigger. Um, the Beginner's Bible Activity Book. This one Riley, Riley started using a little bit. Um, but this one also just works on a bunch of different concepts. It's not just letters. So there's tracing, there's mazes, there is working on numbers it looks like over here. Things like, you know, circle the smallest, circle the biggest. This one is cute. It's working on patterns. So you've got the numbers and then you have to put, you know, which one falls over here. But then at the top it says, like God said, I look at the inside of a person. I look at the heart. Color the hearts and the ones that come next in the pattern. Use a code to color the hearts. One is pink, two is red, three is purple. So just everything, you know, all the activities that they're doing, they're learning skills like they would in any kind of like preschool workbook, but they're doing it using examples from the Bible, which I think is, you know, like just one of the best things that you can do if you are Christian, if you're trying to raise your kids in the faith, like I said. Um, I just think that it's so great that there's a bunch of resources like this that you can literally go buy. And when you're teaching them, you're kind of doing two in one. You're talking about God, you're talking about Jesus, but then you're also learning how to trace lines and things like that. Another random thing that we really like are the water wows. I actually um, take this to church now with the kids. So I have this in the diaper bag in case Jackson gets fussy. This is one of the ones that we can take out. And they have a million water wows. I'm sure you've seen them, but this one is um, of Jesus. Like this one is like the little pictures, like you've got David and Goliath. And then you've got um, just like a bunch of different ones. You've got Jesus. I think this one, when you wash it, it's like, yeah, the basket of the fish and the bread. So I think it's really nice that Melissa and Doug had one that was, um, you know, biblical and all of that. And then the other thing that Riley's been really liking lately are like these little sticker books. So this one, my Bible sticker backpack, I also put it in my diaper bag when we're going to church. And this one is super cute because like some of the pages are like falling out because she's already pulled from some of them. In the back, there's different sticker pages and I don't know how well you're gonna see it, but like on the top, it'll say like these stickers belong to page 26 and 27. So that's what these stickers are for. And then when you go to page 26 and 27, there's different activities that they can do. And then there's also places where they have to put the stickers. So like all like, the little orange places that's where they have to put the stickers from the sticker pages so Riley and I have worked through a few of these and like you know here I think we did this one where we were um, coloring the pyramids and all of that and then like here it says Joseph helped the people to store food and fill Joseph's baskets with corn and then you put the little corns in the basket so an activity that her and I can do while also talking about things of the Bible. This one is like about Noah's Ark and there's different faces on the animals. And then again, they could put the stickers here. So this one is really colorful. Um, it does take more like, you have to be sitting there with your kid. It's not like you can just let them do whatever they want. Cause you kind of have to like read this if they can't read themselves yet. And you have to kind of show them like where to put the stickers and all of that. So it's not just like a bunch of random stickers that they can just put on a page, but a great like teaching resource for sure. And then I have two other sticker books that we haven't started using yet, but I'll just show you what the inside of them looks like. This one is really nice because the material of the pages um, is like that glossy, like harder paper material. So I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more durable and there's definitely more substance to this one because it actually has like a whole like recounting of like different stories from the Bible. Like here, like you can read this entire story over here. So for example, like this one's from Mark 4, the very scary storm. You can read the entire story to your little one. And then here it'll say like, add the light 
lightning sticker and bird sticker to the stormy sky. Add the fish stickers like this to the ocean so then in the back there's also Kind of similar to the other one where there's different pages, like different stickers for different pages. So you'd go to the back and these are the stickers for page 44. And then you go and you get the lightning bolt and you get the fish and all of that. And then you put it on that page. So definitely very engaging. Less activities like the other one. The other one had like, you know, the mazes and stuff. But this one is more of like a story based activity book with the stickers. So another one that I think is great. And this one is the 1000 sticker Bible storybook. This one's cute, it's got like a little flap over here. And then when you open this one up, this one also has kind of like those glossy pages um, with different stories from the Bible. Not as like intense in terms of like story, you know, reading the story like the second one that I showed you. But it's got a little bit of the Bible stories down here that you can read. So saved from the flood, talking about Noah's Ark. And then there's places where you can put the stickers and I bet that they are in the back over here so you go to the back and these are all like the stickers for like the flood pages and then this one's actually pretty neat i wonder if the other ones have it too but this one has a bunch of like extra stickers where they can basically just put them wherever they want so that's pretty neat let's see if the other ones have that because i didn't even like pay attention that one definitely does the second one does not it's like every sticker you know belongs to a specific page the first one either the first one just has like the stickers that belong to the pages but there's like a lot of stickers in them but anyway like they're all a little different um it, i guess it kind of just depends on like what stage your kid is in or like what you want them to get from it but i think that they all make for great you know learning tools and things that allow you to have conversations with your little ones but they're still doing something fun it keeps them entertained you know because like riley i don't know how your kids are but riley these days every two minutes she tells me she goes mom i'm bored i'm like what do you want me to do like i'm home with you all day there's only so much i could do like go run around go watch tv for a little while but she likes that kind of stuff so i like having these handy that i can just like grab them from her little art cart i have like um, a section in her art cart that's like workbooks and activity books and then we'll just take them out and then do them from time to time And then I guess the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap up this video Just showing you quickly um, the homeschooling curriculum that I use with Riley This isn't a homeschooling video even though I plan on doing one in the future like showing you like how I homeschool her um, Technically Riley is still in like pre-k 3 because even though she's 4 her birthday is in December So she's like one of like the the older ones in the class She's one of the ones that like kind of misses that cutoff so I I've been using this um, curriculum and it comes in like four different parts so I'm like trying to figure out which one to show you first but I've been using this curriculum that's called horizons preschool for three and this one is for three-year-olds this is kind of like what Riley and I will do like when I tell her like we're gonna do some schoolwork. sometimes it's one of those other activity books sometimes it's a sticker book sometimes it's just like a regular pre-k workbook but for the most part, this is a curriculum that I've been sticking to that I do the most consistently. I don't do it every single day. Um, there are times that I'll miss like a day or two, but we eventually catch up. And the way that it works is it is a Christian um, curriculum, which is what, like the reason why I'm including it in this video, because it's something that, you know, we use to teach her skills like those activity books but in a way that relates to the bible and that connects her to her faith so the curriculum um it comes with a teacher's guide which i really appreciate so the teacher's guide walks you through like every lesson so everything is broken down into different lessons so like lesson five is about moses um and then it'll tell you like what supplies you need for that lesson how long that lesson takes you it kind of depends on your kid and how often you're doing this sometimes we do a lesson in a day sometimes we do a lesson in a week it just kind of depends on what page you're going at but it'll tell you like the supplies you need and then there's a bible reference so this is exodus 2 verses 1 through 10 a bible concept so this one says god loved and cared for moses and then there's a little bible lesson and it kind of walks you through it'll tell you like begin by talking about how older children often take care of younger children so telling you as a parent or as a teacher what you can do to kind of have these conversations with the student that you're teaching so then what you would do is there's a bible story reader that comes with that curriculum and you would find that lesson so all of the bible lessons that are from the curriculum are included here so i would turn to lesson five um and that one is the one on moses and we would read like the little condensed version of the story of moses like in a way that you know three-year-olds can kind of comprehend and then at the end there's some thought questions that you can work with with your kids so like this one says point to the baby in the picture so you would look at the picture have them point to the baby point to pharaoh's daughter so you'd point to pharaoh's daughter do you remember why the baby is in the basket the princess is leaning over to take care of the baby so things like that 
that you're working and having conversations with your student. And then at the end, there's a prayer. So dear Jesus, thank you for protecting baby Moses. Thank you for giving him a loving family. Thank you for my family who loves me, takes care of me, amen. So that's part of the lesson, reading the story that's in the little Bible story reader. Now I'm gonna tell you, Riley, as smart as she is or whatever, like there are still times that I read her that and she has no clue what has just happened. She has no idea what's going on. So that's okay. We're just familiarizing her with the different stories from the Bible and through like all of these things that we're throwing at her consistently throughout her life at some point something's gonna click so like don't freak out if you start working on a curriculum with a three a four a five year old even and like they're not remembering all the things like it's okay like sometimes me just reading these things to her and teaching her these things like it's a learning moment for me too as an adult you know i've grown up obviously you know throughout my life being a christian being a catholic and i feel like i'm like understanding the stories more at this point now that i'm reading them to my kids than i ever did growing up so i feel like that's important to mention so anyway you've got the little story in the bible that you read to them then there's always a memory verse so this one for this lesson is she named him moses saying i drew him out of the water then that memory verse i try to repeat over and over again every time that i open up this book to do homeschooling with her so at the beginning of any time that we're going to do schoolwork, i'll say what's this lesson's memory verse does she remember them always no um but we go repeating them anyway and then after that um there's the worksheets the teacher's guide walks you through all of the worksheets like it'll tell you write the student's name on the top give the students this worksheet have the students trace the word cow like it walks you through it like you don't have to be a teacher to know how to do this because i am not a teacher i'm pretty sure i forgot to say that i didn't study like early childhood education i'm just a mom of a four and a two year old and i'm trying to teach them so that's one of the reasons why i like the curriculum when they have like the teacher's guide and the teacher's guide is very straightforward and very easy to understand. So we've got that. In terms of the worksheets, all of the worksheets are included in the student workbook. And the student workbook is all broken down into the different lessons too. So if you go to lesson five, this is what lesson five looks like. And then we've done this one already. It has like the different worksheets. And then like this one was like Riley just colored the cow. And then, you know, we're working on the number two and every lesson is different in terms of like how difficult they are or what they're working on, like what skill. This is obviously one of the earlier lessons. So like this was like very easy stuff. Here it said stuff like, you know, point to the cow that's under the cloud. And so Riley had to do that. And then here this was count each group of camels but again all of the activities like in those workbooks relate to something from that lesson something having to do with you know the story from the bible from that week or from that lesson this is one from the next lesson actually just to give you an idea um where she had to draw some flowers out from the garden so this was like her drawing some flowers and then this is her like she had to color the picture of moses and the burning bush so i helped her with some of it i'm pretty sure that day but then she did like some coloring of her own. So the worksheets are all in here. And then something else that's nice is that um, every lesson also has like some kind of like a craft or an activity. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to show you lesson five because I probably ripped it out, yeah. So what's nice is like anytime that there's like a craft or like an activity, they're included in the student workbook companion. So you don't have to worry about going and getting construction paper or like getting the stuff on your own, making the stuff, printing it out. It's all already here. So like this little book is made out of like a little thicker cardboard. And if there's something that they need to cut out, um, you just rip out this page and, you know, tear it out and glue it or whatever it is you have to do. So like this one is from lesson 16 and it says, um, color the triangles and then cut out the pieces and glue them to a sheet of paper to make a triangle and rectangle sailboat as seen below so again all the things are there you just have to cut them and then use this paper you know to assemble the boat so different crafts like that this one is like making a crown um so i'm sure that you have to like color it and then you know just like staple it or glue it together this one they have to assemble a house so all of that stuff is included in this part of the curriculum. And then after you've done all of the worksheets for that lesson, then there's also other things that the, the teacher like guide will walk you through in terms of other things that you can focus on for that lesson. So like there's a little section here called social studies and it'll tell you what to do for that section. So it says find a family photo, which includes the student, ask the students to identify the various people in the photo. So that's something you can do for social studies. It's another activity you can do during that lesson. 
then it moves on to things like language arts. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see it, if it'll focus, but there's like something that you can do for language arts. There's something that you can do for music. Under music, this is like a song that you can teach them. It says, teach the students a song, Jesus Loves the Little Children by um, Claire Herbert Woolston. So you can teach them the song, you can go on YouTube, find the song, play it. Like these are all the things that you can do during this lesson and like you don't have to like come up with things on your own right so you've got that you've got phonics have the students say the word cow ask the students to say the word cow loudly ask them to say the word cow softly ask the students to say cow in a high voice in a low voice it's got something here for math so apparently we're working on the number two so have students find the number two around the house including places like a clock or a phone and appliances you're also teaching them about colors so it says orange is a color to focus on for this lesson take a glass of water put in a couple drops of yellow and red food coloring mix them tell the students that the color in the glass is orange see if the students can identify some objects around the house that are orange so all of that is here in the teacher's guide. So if you're somebody that isn't super creative, you're not gonna be going on Pinterest all the time and finding different activities, like these are great ideas that you can use to teach your little one. This one also has a section on physical education. So this one says, tell the students that they need to cross a river. Remember, we're talking about Moses. We're talking about Moses and the river and the baby and the basket, all of that. So tell the students that they need to cross a river, set up rocks by the river using um, pillows or pieces of paper. Tell the students they need to walk on or jump from paper to paper in order to cross the river. So you're teaching them all these different things, but kind of bringing it back in some ways to the Bible. So I've really enjoyed this curriculum. It's the first curriculum that we have used for Riley. So um, I'm pretty sure Horizons has a preschool one that's like for four and five year olds that we will purchase next once we are done with this one. We still have several lessons to go, um, but I feel like some of these concepts Riley has like already mastered. So some of the stuff is a little bit repetitive. So I'm curious to see like what the next one would have. But regardless, it's a great way for her to learn how to trace and work on the letters and work on the numbers. So we're gonna keep doing it and keep reading her the different Bible stories. So that's a bit of that. We'll dive further into it when I do like a full on homeschooling video because this isn't the only thing I do. I have other like manipulatives and stuff and activities that we use with her. But this is like the Christian stuff. This is the stuff that we use to teach our little ones around the house. Um, something I did wanna mention is that like when it comes to devotionals and books like it's a good idea to have them in different places around the house right like if i had every single bible devotional or bible book in riley's room then that's the only place that i would ever like reach for it and read it and i don't want to do that right i want to have one in the kitchen i want to have one like where their toys are like by the couch you know i want to have them in different places so that regardless of what room we're in i can always like if we have like a moment of like silence which like hardly ever happens but you know if there's a moment where we're not doing anything and i can think of it i can grab the book and use that as a teaching moment and bring it back to god and jesus and you know teach something from the bible in a positive happy way that you know two and four year olds can understand so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said remember all of the stuff that i mentioned here it's going to be down below in the description box easy for you to shop like always when you use my links i get a small commission so i want to put that out there so you guys remember i always thank you for supporting me it costs you nothing extra it's just like i get a couple cents like when you guys buy through my link so thank you in advance if you do and if you guys want to stick around and you're new around here you've never seen my face before this is the first time thank you for being here also thank you for those of you who have been here always but you know thank you for being here i share a lot of motherhood content i do a lot of daily vlogs um i have nothing in my life figured out but i am trying and you know being a mom to a preschooler to a toddler is very difficult so this is our online community of moms that are just trying to do our best over here so i hope that you'll stick around and subscribe and be my friend and i have like i said at the beginning like big plans to share more homeschooling content more activities and things that we do with the little ones if there's anything in particular that you want to see that you want me to cover let me know down below in the comments and that is it i love your freaking faces thank you for being here um make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys